Hi YouTube, this is my Robinson Mercury Vapor Moth Trap. I'm just going to show you the different elements of it and how I set it up. So this is the um, base unit, nice and deep. Um, this is the sort of cone shaped top that is clear. Then you've got the Mercury Vapor bulb over here. Um, this bulb is really bright and you can't look at it for too long because it can um, damage your eyes. Then we've got a starter unit um, and this has obviously got a really long cable uh, so you can get it to an electrical source um, and then egg cartons which are obviously you know really cheap to buy and I have the normal kind of uh, size like this and then some that I tear in half and I'll show you how I set this up so I do I do uh, you can see like there's this side and there's this side. The, the side that's kind of got deeper bits is what I put on the inside. Um, so that's where the moths are going to be resting, down in there. So I put three in like this. Okay, so again, look, you can see the deeper side is what's facing into here. That's where the moths are going to rest. Then I do the ones that are torn in half. I put between those like that and I mean you could probably just leave it like that um, but I tend to do an extra one as well just trying to give as much kind of surface area for the moths to rest on so that's another three like that so it ends up looking like this loads of space for the moths to hide and then what you do is put the cone on the top that just rests on like that and obviously this stops the moths from escaping when they're in there uh, and then we put this top bit on like this okay so you can see obviously what happens is uh, the bulb goes on and is very very bright and the moths get attracted to it uh, and they hit against some of these clear panels sometimes and then they get drawn down into these holes uh, and then obviously they uh, fly about inside for a while uh, and usually obviously what happens is they end up going in behind the egg crates and just resting up on the egg cartons uh, and then you can have a look and see what you've got the next morning. So it's quite a nice warm day today so what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this moth trap up tonight and um, I'll do another video in the morning and see what moths we actually catch overnight. Um, I just mentioned these couple of books as well that I can recommend. I mean I'm actually really into the caterpillars probably more than the moths so I'll quite often I'll catch the moths and if they're, it's particularly like hawk moths that I'm interested in um, so I'll sometimes keep back some moths so they can lay eggs and then I rear up the caterpillars so yeah this book is brilliant Caterpillars of the British Isles by Jim Porter because it's absolutely full of um, photographs of the various caterpillar species um, so if you've ever got a caterpillar you don't know what it is you can definitely find it in this book as long as it's a UK <laughs> caterpillar that is um, so yeah, that book I, I thoroughly recommend. Um, and moth-wise, obviously if you've got a moth trap, um, you get used to a lot of the more common species, but if there's a moth that you're not sure of, um, again, look, if you look through this book, you've got a lot of information, but look, it's just absolutely full of um, plates of various moths. So yeah, you're sure to find the moth that you're looking for in this book. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and that book is called Moths of the British Isles by Bernard Skinner. Okay, so they're the two sort of main books that I'd recommend if you're thinking about uh, buying a moth trap. It's a really, really good fun hobby. And um, I mean, I get different species uh, every year. 
Uh, like I said, I'm particularly interested in the hawk moths, but I also like kind of ones with really unusual caterpillars like um, puss moths and lobster moths and um, anything with kind of weird hairy tufty caterpillars. Um, I really like vapor moths, uh, all kinds of different things. So <laughs> anyway, check out my other videos and hit subscribe and uh, be sure to check out the second video where I show you what we catch overnight. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.